yeah, long way to do video update number two. Took me long enough, didn't it really? I haven't really got that much. Fuck them, basically. I have two DVDs on order that are out of stock. I cannot be bothered to wait for them to come, so I'm doing my DVD update now with three films and a TV box set. Alright, let's, let's do this thing. First up, childhood classic. When I used to watch all the time when I was a kid, I used to felt like this. Five quid, HMV. That's right, it's the last action hero. There's a look at this. That's a receipt. I like to keep receipts. Discs, not much to it. This film is quality. Yeah, you know it. It may have panned and bond at the box office, but it's excellent. Let's oh. Here's one of your movie explosions for you. I think the text is bulletproof or something. Yeah. Um it's a great, great film. Uh, I love all the when I go into the video store and it's like when they see the Terminator 2 um thingy but it's like Sylvester Stallone as the Terminator and he's like, Oh that was one of his best films. That's great. So yeah. Number one, DVD um number one, first DVD, last action hero. Um five quid, H M V, probably two point nine. I saw it, I took it, I wanted it, I had it. There it is. Next one is one my mum bought me. It was three quid used. It's the Hills Have Eyes remake. I saw this in um I think my DVD bargain man's videos. Um about it movies that get with H. And as he said it has I have no idea how to that's a name. What's her face from Lost? Claire from Lost. There we go. That's good enough. Um, there's a disc for you right there. Um, it's the Hills of Eyes remake. I've not seen the original. I really enjoyed this one. It's the, uh, it's the um, don't know if you can see the glare going on. Extended cut. Uh, yeah, extended cut. Um, it's a good movie, it's got a nice kind of slow build up and it's just da 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 and yeah you're really you can really root for the characters as well which I thought was um which was really good about it. Yeah so that's the Hills Have Eyes remake three quid pre owned stairs for this like flea market um flea market marketplace and a big thing in DVDs. And there was his wife, three quid. Mum bought it for me. Thank you, Mum. I much appreciate it. I haven't watched this copy yet, but I feel like I've seen the film twice already. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's good. Next up, number three. This one's particularly special, which I bought just today for £9. That's a student discount. Probably could have got it cheaper online, but. When you see something in store, it's always like, oh, do I wait a week and pay less, or do I have it now and pay more? Oh. And you know, you just get yeah, your brain saying, ooh, buy it now. So I did. It's the Fight Club Definitive Edition Steelbook. Yes, that's why people, my second Steelbook. Yes. Um, this is also. I believe it's uncut. I thought it said somewhere it was uncut. Maybe I'm wrong. Has some apparently has some new special features for this. It's uh um there is again the receipt. Um Fight Club. Two di two disco. Um got some good special features on here. Uh four audio commentaries. One of them apparently is new to this, I'm not sure if that's true or not. Uh, yeah, audio commentaries, behind the scenes, featurettes, visual effects, blah blah blah, etc, etc. Not going to read them all out. Yeah, my second steelbook. 
these definitive editions are nice. Problem is, if you're ordering them online, they re release them in just normal DVD cases with slip covers. So you're like, am I going to be getting the steel book? Or am I going to be getting the pre release? <coughs> um, I would like, for some reason, I just really want to get the Alien vs. Predator one. Even though that movie sucks, I just want to, because the cover looks so good and it's just um, nice. And I would like to get also another steel book I want. Fly, Cinema Reserve one, I've never seen the movie but it's supposed to be really good and it's a still book. Can't go wrong there, can you really? So yes, that's my second ever still book and it will look nice on my shelf. It feels kind of different, like smoother to my um, Sin City one. Uh, there we go, it's the back just in case you're wondering. Uh, I've seen this film before and I knew trouble was when I watched it I knew the twist at the end. I won't say if anybody hasn't seen it. If you haven't seen it, get your ass in here and watch it because it's good. Um, but yeah, it was kind of like watching it for the second time. You know how they put in like things to give little hints and then you go back and watch it like, oh, that's, that's what that was all really about. And that's kind of what it was like watching it for the first time. It's like, oh yeah, I get that. Yeah, I know what that's. Oh, I see what that's a reference to. So, Fight Club Definitive Edition Steelbook. Don't think you can get these Definitive Editions in America. Not sure about that. There's some nice Steelbooks over there. There's Planetary and Desperate Ones. Lush. Love to have them. Um, lastly, my TV box set. Are you happy, DVDM? But another TV box set. Couldn't help myself. Bought this second hand store for £10. It is West Wing season three. Yeah, boy. Oh, sorry for the the, the uh, change of clothes and lighting. Just wanted to add. I know DVM that you really like Studio Sixty, so I recommend that you check out the West Wing because I've seen Studio Sixty. Oh well, I didn't watch the last four episodes for some reason, but I really liked it. And um. From what I've seen in the West Wing so far, it's much, much better. And it's, you know, obviously the same cre creator and everything. So, just wanted to say, I think, with all your bag loads of money and everything, and your ever-growing TV box set collection, that you should check out the West Wing, because I'm sure it's going for a decent price online somewhere. Please, for me, check it out, please, for me. Alright, okay, back to the rest of my day. Um, this is a... God, oh, I hate this stuff. Region 2 has, like I said before in my in-depth TV video, no special features. None whatsoever. You just list the episodes there, and it has no special features. What the fuck, man? And on a disc shit, they seem to be in good condition. I've got just one... This too is missing because it's in my DVD player. Um, yeah, so I'm on that disc. Um, I really should have finished Murphy's Law before I um, watched this. Start watching this, but never mind. That's the worst thing. This is a really good show. Although, um, if you're not into like shows where it's mostly talking, like, this is a very talky show. The dialogue's really good, very kind of snappy in the first place. This is my first time watching it. Don't spoil anything for me, you bastards. Um, that's the third season of the West Wing, really good so far. Like I've said before, my favourite characters are Josh and Donna. I also like uh, CJ. Um, Alrighty then, that's the West Wing. That concludes my small yet worthy DVD update, I would say. Alright. I hope you enjoyed it and looks like I'll be able to keep it in one part. Cool.